One of the best free recording and editing programs available online is a program called Audacity and I'm just going to show you how to download Audacity to your computer. This is the one, it's a free audio editor and recorder and again it's cross-platform which is always useful. So we're going to download Audacity for Microsoft Windows. Um, just looking at this, we'll go for the 1.2.6 because it's a stable release. There is a beta release, uh, which is a work in progress. They are, you know, if you if you're feeling quite confident about using it, then you can use that and then give them feedback. But we'll go for the uh, we'll go for the other version in this particular case. Just check that I have the system requirements which I do so let's click on that one let's save the file and we want to save it to my programs file is on disk drive C, that's where we want it. Let's click save. It's finished downloading, so click open. Yes, I want to run it. It may ask you this on your computer because it's an exe file and it just wants to be sure because some exe files carry viruses. And it's given me a setup wizard, so uh, let's click next have a look through the terms of use and click I accept this agreement I'm a fast reader uh, does anybody ever read those things and yes I want to continue with the setup happy for that to go in my program files so click next I do want a desktop icon but I don't want to associate audacity project files so click next and install click finish and we'll launch audacity and have a quick look now while that's launching I'm just going to go back to see what other things it, it allows me to do. Right, this is the one we're going to want particularly um, because most things you will want to, most audio files you will want to use uh, as MP3 files and without this included you will only be able to export your audio files as WAV files. Let me show you Audacity here. Audacity project files are not currently... Ah, I see. That's what I, sh I should have left that other box ticked. I didn't quite understand what they meant. I thought they were asking me to associate all my uh, audio files with Audacity, but no, they only want me to associate Audacity project files, which are .aups, with Audacity. So that's fine. So I'll click Yes. And English, please. OK, this is Audacity. Now here, if we'd recorded something, it would give us the option of exporting as a WAV. Um, it does say export as MP3, but I have a feeling if we were to record something, let me just do a test. This is very simple how you record. Just click the record, start speaking. Obviously my voice is showing up on there at the moment. And click stop. And if we wanted to export it, ah, well that's interesting. Since I last used Audacity, you obviously don't need the extra plugin to export as an MP3. I'm quite happy about that. I don't need to download anything else, and neither do you. So we would simply uh, find a place to save it. Um, just create an audio file. and click 
test. Save it as a test. And it saved it as an MP3, which is exactly what we want. <laughs> no, it doesn't. Okay. Although it said it could, um, it doesn't export unless you have the lame MP3 encoder. So what we're going to do is go back here, click on that one, which is the one we want. So it would have helped if I'd checked all this out beforehand, but it's always good to discover these things as you go along. Uh, go to the download page. Now, uh, where's the file? This is the file we want. The one for Windows. So let's click that one. Save to disk. OK, and save. And it's in a zip file. So we're going to open that. and extract all the files out of that and show extracted files right now I just need to check what I need to do with this now I have it okay that's fine so we're going to click file export as mp3 save it as a test now I want to locate this file because I've downloaded the encoder so let's go and find the file which is in my programs file and we're looking for the lame we're looking for this one Okay, so we're going to click open. Uh, edit the ID. We, we're not going to worry about that at the moment. Just click OK. And there we have saved that quick recording as a test file. I'll be showing you more on how to use Audacity in future videos.